Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Bascop Brown, and welcome back to another video. This is an indie game which I found on Game Jewel, and it's a point and click horror game. But from the reviews that I'm uh, reading about this game, it doesn't really sound like it's going to be that scary. So, but we'll find out. So, let's get right into it. Daddy? Dad? Will you shut up, you little brat? What have I told you about talking unless I tell you? But Daddy, I need to tell you something. What is it, you poor excuse for a child? I'm sorry, Daddy. I was mopping in the other room like you told me. It better be spotless in there, boy. Well, the mop handle, it knocked over the, the special jar. What? I'm sorry, Daddy. It was an accident. Your mother's urn? No. You. You. You wretched child. You worthless little monster. How could you do this? I'm sorry. You know what you should be sorry for? It's your fault your mother is dead. No. She died giving birth to you. And for what? So I have to look at your ugly little face every day? When I look at you, all I can think of is that you killed your mother. No. You murderer. No, I'm not. You're a little murderer. And you know where little murderers go? They go to prison. But that's not good enough for you. Instead, I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life. You disgusting, pathetic boy. No, Daddy, please. Smack. Entrapment. Twenty-three years later. Oh, my head. Where am I? My hands are soaking wet. Is that sweat? What's going on? Oh, excuse me. I can't remember anything from last night. Let me find a light switch. Whoa. I almost tripped over something. What the hell was that? I think there's a light switch over here. Just let me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, God, not again. Um, this has happened to you before? Buddy, that's not normal. My name is Sam Drake, and for the past month, someone has been trying to frame me for murder. It seems so long ago now. I arrived home late one night. We'd had some mail, so I grabbed it on my way in. There was a letter among it. It simply said... I will frame you for murder. Oh, well, at least they're straight to the point about it. At first, I thought it was just a joke. Some kids playing a prank. What was that, Sam? Or what's that, Sam? Oh, nothing, Martha. Just junk mail. But I was wrong. Soon after that day, I woke up in a strange motel. Oh, my head. I had no memory of what had happened to me. Where am I? I felt drowsy and my head hurt. Hello? It was as if I had been drugged. Martha? Is that you? Oh, she looks a little different. Oh, God. And there was a body. Uh, who? Who is that? Alright, so that's not Martha. I escaped, narrowly avoiding the police. I hoped that the killer would see that his attempt to frame me had failed, and he would leave me alone. But it continued to happen, with different girls in different hotels. All of them murdered. I had to find who was doing this. His attempts became more frequent, and every time I couldn't remember what had happened to me before it. Now it was the fifth time it had happened. I need to get out of here and find out who's behind all of this. 
Alrighty, so strange storyline, but um, let's check out the corpse. What should I check? Uh, let's check her head and see if he recognizes her. There are some smaller cuts on her face. It looks like the killer made a slashing motion with the knife. And the girl's face got in the way of it. The blood is matted into her hair. She's wearing a bobby pin. Maybe I could use it for something. Um, should I take it? I feel like this could get me, like, arrested. Uh, what the hell? We'll take it anyways. Alright, let's see. Let's check out the closet. It's locked. Um, I'm gonna use this bobby pin to open it. It's no use. The bobby pin is too small to pick the lock. I can see that there's, like, um... A red flashing light right there where my cursor is. So there must be something in there. Uh, how do I put this bobby pin away? I like that. Should I check out? I should let her rest in peace. What's the sign say? I couldn't think of any reason I would need to take that sign. Oh, alright. See what's in the rest of the hotel room. What's this? Oh, it's a telephone. Good, maybe I can call somebody for help. Who should I call? Well, we can't call the police, and his wife probably wouldn't be the best idea. Uh, we can try hotel reception. I don't know what that'll help us with, but... Hello, you're through to Ben at the Den Hotel reception. For all your sleazy needs. How can I help you? Um, I found a dead body in my room. Listen, this might sound really strange, but I woke up in one of your hotel rooms, and there's a dead body on the floor. I don't know what I should do. You're right, sir. That does sound really strange. I know, but how do you... But do you think you can help me? Well, we have special medical packs for when our guests get carried away and take too much. Can you remember how much you've taken? What? No, I'm not on drugs. You really are delirious, aren't you? And you honestly can't remember what hallucinogens you took. I'm not on any hallucinogen. I'm not on drugs. Well, my advice, sir, is to ride it out. The effects will wear off eventually. Um, okay, well, he's obviously not gonna believe me. I'll just leave him alone. Um, there's something by the couch over there. Wait, what the hell is that? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Um, wait, no, wait. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. It's a, it's a bomb. Jesus Christ. It looks like it's been rigged to blow and the door is open. Damn. The killer is not messing around anymore. It looks like the he either wants me arrested or dead. And what does this sign say? Cleaning will commence here every day at 12.30 p.m. No, that means I have just over an hour to get out of here and warn someone before the cleaners come and open the door. And then... Oh, God. I need to get out of here and warn someone. <laughs> 